Special counsel Robert Mueller gave his first public statement on the conclusion of the Russia investigation. The report finding there was not enough evidence to prove conspiracy, but prosecutors could not exonerate President Trump on obstruction. Let's bring in Trey Gowdy, former House Oversight Committee chairman and Fox News contributor. Uh, I wanted to talk a couple of angles with you. One, um, it's very interesting in a special counsel's report to have insufficient evidence versus no evidence, right? So, but. It, but if you don't have a case, you, as prosecutors, sometimes you have to let it go. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple of evidentiary thresholds. I mean, it takes probable cause to indict someone or arrest them, but it takes beyond a reasonable doubt to get a conviction. And mm -hmm. most prosecutors, if you don't have a realistic likelihood of a successful outcome, you're not going to try the case. So you can have probable cause. You could get an indictment. You could get an arrest warrant, but you got no chance of winning. Um, I don't know where this falls in the evidentiary. I, I think it's above no evidence, but whether or not it's enough to have indicted, uh, look, I, I listened to every word of his press conference. I still don't know whether or not he would have indicted but for that OLC opinion out of and the And what DOJ. do you make of that uh, discrepancy people are pointing to between what Bill Barr had said that Mueller told him and what Mueller said today, that that was the stumbling block, block for him on obstruction? I'm still not clear whether that, I don't know what, it, it, this is one of the president's options, and I'm, I'm not his lawyer, I'm not ever going to be his lawyer, but, you know, you can waive any right you have, Dana. You have the right to remain silent, but you can talk to the police if you want to. You have a right to a jury trial, but you can plead guilty if you want to. I'll bet the president has the right to say, go ahead, indict me. If you have enough, uh, the Supreme Court's never said that I can't be indicted. This is DOJ. I'm the head of DOJ. I run the executive branch. If you have enough to indict me, go ahead and do it. At least you'll have some clarity. What you're going to have now for the next 14 months is an impeachment investigation by folks who have already made up their mind. I mean, 60 of them wanted to impeach him before Mueller wrote a right. single syllable of his report. The mm -hmm. jury's never going to convict him. So we're going to be in this state of chaos for the next 14 months. Look, I, I don't think that there's a prosecutable case for obstruction. I don't know everything, but from what I've seen, firing Jim Comey is not obstruction of justice. So if the president has the right to waive his right to remain silent, does he also have the right to waive his right to not be indicted while president? I'd take my chances with 12 hmm. reasonable-minded fellow citizens before I would hmm. the House Democrats. Take a listen to uh, Chairman Jerry Nadler of the House Judiciary Committee earlier, just in this hour. With respect to impeachment question at this point, all options are on the table and nothing should be ruled out to the president. So the president is lying about the special counsel's findings, lying and saying that the special counsel found no obstruction and no conclusion. And I should add, the attorney general is lying about that too. That is serious and we will take action to hold the president accountable for his misconduct. Again, I'll repeat, no one, not even the president, is above the law. Thank you very much. Trey, a lot, very strong language, and the president and the attorney general are lying about the report. Yeah, I noticed that word. I also noticed the word misconduct, and I'm beginning to wonder if we live in a country where there are any presumptions of innocence. I mean, I, I mean, Schiff has him in jail. Nadler's already concluded misconduct. Dana, remember, 60 House Democrats voted to move forward with impeachment before Mueller released a mm -hmm. single syllable of his report. So the notion that there's some dispassionate objective, open-minded group on the Democrats on House Judiciary, they're trying to figure out the politics of going forward with impeachment when you know you're not going to get a conviction. Mm -hmm. What this may result in is 2020 being a referendum on whether or not you want to see Donald Trump indicted. That's what this is well, winding and I up just to feel be. Like, and I know one of the frustrations you had when you were in Congress is there's this disconnect from what your constituents and the voters are wanting people to work on in Washington and what actually ends up happening. And if we end up in an impeachment situation, then nothing is going to get done. Well, you could argue not a whole lot is getting done right now, but yeah. you're right. Nothing's going to get done. It's all about 2020. I, I, I was actually heartened. I'm a cynic, but I was heartened by the fact that Mueller started with Russia, he yeah. ended with Russia, and he was most passionate about Russia. The problem is no one in the House, uh, or very few in the House, feel that same passion about attacking Russia as the yeah. enemy. Chairman We'd rather Nather fight didn't with mention it at all, but Mueller began and ended his yes. statement specifically looking at Russia. So there is that. All right, Trey Gowdy, thank you for being here today. We appreciate yes, it very much. See you again soon. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.